My name is Tim Delbridge and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Applied Economics at Oregon State University. Futures contracts traded on futures markets are an important risk management tool for many firms that buy or sell agricultural commodities. A futures contract is an agreement to trade a set amount of a particular product at a specified time, place, and price sometime in the future. There are futures contracts for major crops like corn, soybeans, and wheat, but also products like cattle, milk, and lumber. Non-agricultural futures contracts allow for trading in things like foreign currency, energy, and metals. Anybody can trade in these markets, but I'm talking here about how farmers or others in the ag and food industries can use futures contracts as a risk management tool. With many players in the market, the price of a futures contract rises and falls every day according to demand and expectations about the future value of the good. If traded correctly, a farmer can use futures contracts to protect themselves from the risk that the price of their product falls before they're able to harvest it. Similarly, the buyer of a commodity can protect themselves from the risk that the price of the product rises before they're actually ready to buy. Let's go through a simple example for an Oregon wheat farm. Suppose a large wheat grower in eastern Oregon will plant in the fall and harvest the following summer. Once they buy their seed and plant, they can't change their production decision and they'll have to sell their wheat for the market price when they finally harvest. To protect themselves from the risk of prices falling while their crop is in the ground, they could take a short position on a wheat futures contract for a month near their harvest time. If the value of wheat falls over the course of the growing season, the farmer will make money on their futures trade, but they'll be worse off with their physical wheat crop. That is, their gains in the futures market partially offset their losses, and they're able to reduce price risk. This is what we call hedging. There's a lot more to learn about effectively managing risk with futures markets, and this is just one simple example of the many ways that futures contracts are used.